Well, as the saying goes, youth is so often wasted on the young, but certainly not when it comes to our George W. Thorne Award winner, Leslie Weitz. Leslie is a simulation and modeling engineer lead at MITRE Corporation, a U.S. think tank that works with government entities such as the Department of Defense and the Federal Aviation Administration. She began setting the stage for receiving this award as a student. She was president of the Engineering Honor Society, a member of the Student Excellence Initiative, a mentor for the Engineering School's Technical Communication Program, and the inaugural speaker at her commencement. And that's while fulfilling her responsibilities as a co-op student by working at GM's powertrain plant in Tonawanda. Barely into her 30s, Leslie has already amassed numerous awards and honors for her work with NASA, the National Science Foundation, and the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, helping to improve air traffic control systems. Congratulations, Leslie Weitz. Uh, thank you very much for this award. It's really been quite humbling to receive it, and, and as others have mentioned, it's, it's incredibly inspiring to hear the accomplishments of the other recipients tonight. And so I'd, I'd like to acknowledge and thank a couple, a couple of people have, that have certainly helped me get to where I am today, and I'm sure I'm leaving some out, but I'm going to do my best to, to cover it all. So, so first of all, I'd like to thank the UB Alumni Association for the recognition. And I'd like to thank Tim Sidorakis, Mike Madonia, Bethany Mazur, Dr. Bob Barnes, and Dr. Rajan Bada for nominating me for this award. I've really enjoyed reconnecting with the folks in the, um, in the engineering development office through my involvement with the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department Advisory Board here at UB. And I look forward to working with them uh, and reaching out to UB engineering alums through the Washington DC Alumni Club. I'd like to also thank my parents who have placed a high value on education and particularly on math and science education. Uh, I didn't grow up with the idea that I, I should perform more poorly than my male classmates in STEM topics and I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that there would be fewer women in engineering until we got to college and looked around and there just weren't that many people that looked like me. So. I'd also like to thank my husband, Dr. Heath, Heath Ferris, who's here tonight, who makes me a better version of myself each and every day. And I'd also like to acknowledge my numerous colleagues at the MITRE Corporation, the Federal Aviation Administration, and NASA for the challenging and interesting work that we do each day. But most importantly, I want to thank them for laughing at my jokes during meetings, because like most people from my generation, I use sarcasm as a coping mechanism. I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, acknowledge my graduate advisor, Dr. Johnny Hurtado from Texas A&M, who managed to develop me into a capable researcher through a balance of patience and forced independence. And so starting now on a lot of the UB folks I want to acknowledge, I want to thank my friend, uh, Devany Vona Larigo, who's here tonight. Uh, Devany was my partner in crime uh, during my undergraduate education here at UB. We've known each other since we were eight years old and in third grade. And we went through high school and the mechanical engineering program together. And our experience really highlights the importance of having a support network when you're going through challenging things. So during all of the brutal semesters with killer midterm exams and loads of homework, it never occurred to me to change majors out of engineering because it would have really screwed up our carpooling arrangement. So. <laughs> We had to, I had to stay in engineering because that would have been tough. Um, I definitely want to thank many of the uh, UB mechanical and aerospace engineering faculty for providing me with such a solid engineering education. Uh, just a few to note here, Dr. Gary Dargush, uh, Dr. Kemper Lewis, and Dr. Joe Mook. And in particular, I want to acknowledge Dr. Tarun Singh, who spent a lot of time talking with me about graduate education and what my opportunities were after uh, finishing my BS. I very much re enjoyed reconnecting with the UB faculty um, through the Department Advisory Board activities that I've participated on for the last two years. And I, I think it's important to acknowledge how truly passionate the UB professors are about the students, about the success of the university, and about the success of the city of Buffalo. So that's been really inspirational and enjoyable to be a part of. And lastly, I want to thank someone who probably ranks near the top of the list of people that have impacted my career trajectory. And I'm not just adding this on because he mentioned me in his speech. Um, but that person's Dr. John Christidis. Um, Dr. Christidis also encouraged me to pursue graduate school. And, and 
you know, I, I grew up, I'm a first generation college student. I didn't even know what PhD meant when I started um, college. And I actually went into a professor's office during office hours and he had a, his, his doctoral um, degree on the wall. And I thought, wow, that's really lame. Why would he get a, a, a doctoral degree in philosophy? I mean, why wouldn't you get it in engineering? So that's what I, I had no idea that PhD, <laughs> what it stood for. So. So he really, really told me what the opportunities would be for me if I went to graduate school. Um, he nominated me for membership in the uh, American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Guidance Navigation Control Technical Committee as a student, which really gave me an opportunity to network with uh, more senior people in the field and, and made me a part of that community. And I, I don't doubt that he played a part in my membership on the MAE Department Advisory Board here at UB. And so I, I have to say that his support and encouragement over the last 10 years has really brought me into the broader aerospace community, which is incredibly important for all young faculty, or all young professionals, but probably even more important for, for women in the field. And so he opened doors for me that I didn't even know existed, and for that I'm very grateful. So thank you.